This video is sponsored by my favorite website creator Squarespace. The best place to go when you want to get a domain or create a beautiful website or an online store. Can you feel it? Spring is already in the air. So let's dream ahead of all the gorgeous looks we'll be styling this year. Some of the top trends of 2020 aren't exactly easy to wear, but not to worry. Here is my take on the greatest trends and how to wear them in everyday outfits. Every spring we tend to add a splash of colour after the moody winter months, but neon has never been bigger, especially in green, yellow and orange. Top to toe matching is super modern, but may not be the easiest to pull off. Instead, adding a touch of neon to an outfit in light, solid colours like white, beige, grey or my favourite colour, greyish, it's the way to style this trend. Neon against naked skin is also hot hot hot, especially when summer starts rolling in. Silhouette of the year is actually stolen from last year. The puffy sleeve together with high Victorian colours are still super in. Crazy flattering too, if you ask me. Update the silhouette for spring by going for lighter colours or by opting for see-through with brocade and glaze, another super trend. If you are unsure of this shape, try it first with a super sized boyfriend shirt or jumper and just ruching up the sleeves to see how you like the puffy silhouette. Okay, okay, the two patterns of the year are both equally hard to pull off without feeling like you're at a costume party. But let's try polka dots and razor checks. What do you say? Very hardcore, no? How to wear either of these patterns? Easiest way is to just incorporate them as styling details through a belt, a bag strap, a scrunchie or a socks for example. Another way to tone down these patterns is by not going for the high contrast black and white option but instead colours that blend better like white and beige or soft pastels. When it comes to polka dots there are so many gorgeous vintage pieces out there from the 80s and early 90s. Maybe you even know an older lady with a great wardrobe you can go scavenge hunt in. Do you also love the idea of finding those unique gorgeous vintage pieces to level up your wardrobe with while shopping in a sustainable way? If so, give me a thumbs up so I know that you want more vintage themed videos going forward. It's super helpful to me. Material of the year is for sure crochet, but in an updated, less hippie type of styling. If you want to go super trendy, add fringes galore. To make it modern, go for crisp whites, more Mediterranean luxe than music festival in the cornfield. If you want to start slow, try a crochet bag or a shawl. You can drape around you as kind of a semi-dress and go thrifting, you guys. Overall, the trend is for more sustainable materials like crochet can be or plant fibers like tensile, vegan, non-plastic leathers like mushroom leather are hugely trending. So much research and experimenting is going on, it's super exciting times for fashion. Bling of the year is the ankle chain. Oh yeah, another piece of your body to embellish and show off. Think gold, think chunky, again skip the hippie braided vibes and go for big and luxe. Instead of going shopping, why not repurpose one of your favourite necklaces? It works like a charm. In so many fashion ways, the 70s is the decade to time travel to this year. The disco collar is here, which is a little bit full on, so keep it neutral and sleek in solid colours. Think more business than disco. Denim dresses are also making an unwelcome comeback, who saw that coming? And we've already talked about crochet as the material of 2020. The blazer pleated skirt combo is still around, especially when worn with a newcomer the waistcoat. The 70s style can easily look goofy and it can be hard to feel comfortable in this style, so my tip is to go all in for light, solid colours, very business-like and strict, in as minimalist a silhouette as possible. Okay, here we go, item of the year. Drum roll, please. It's the bra. Say what? How can the bra be the item of the year when it's so modern to go without a bra at all? Hear me out, the trendy way to wear a bra is less as support underneath clothing and instead as a fashion statement piece in itself. The bra is no longer underwear, it's just wear. Imagine how many gorgeous bras have been hidden underneath layers of clothing to be appreciated and seen by no one. No more, the bra is free for the world to see. 
Most gorgeous when worn with a boyish blazer and high-waisted trousers or skirts, if you ask me. If you don't want to go all in, luckily, sheer fabrics are super hot right now too, so showing a bit of bra underneath something sheer is totally hot. If you want to cover your tummy, go for the tight tank top instead. Another super trend. Now, go, go, go! Rummage in that wardrobe of yours, go to your favorite vintage site and scavenge hunt in your granny's wardrobe. Trends are always recycled from early decades, so why shouldn't our clothes be too? If you want to see me incorporate the 2020 trends in my own wardrobe, go find me on Insta where I post my like everyday outfit diary. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new so that I will see you again. By the way, a lot of you guys have been getting in touch saying that I don't show up in your YouTube feed, which is so annoying, so make sure to click the little notification bell, otherwise I might disappear from your feed, which would be sad. If anyone out there wants to create a beautiful site, maybe a site where you do your best trend hunting or about fashion news, you should definitely do it with Squarespace. They have great blogging tools to share your stories, your photos and your videos to make it easy to reach your audience. You can also auto-post your content to Twitter, Facebook or Tumblr and simply schedule your posts for them to be properly tagged and the descriptions and titles will show up correctly. You can of course add your social media accounts to your site as well so that it's easy for your readers to find you everywhere. Squarespace also have great traffic analytics so that you can see how many people are visiting your site, how long they're staying for, where they're coming from and what they're interested in. Like new trends or which brands to watch out for, for example. So what are you waiting for? Go get your free trial today at squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jenny Mustard to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's it you guys, puss puss and hello. I hate women, yeah. pretty much. I love women, but that's <laughs> always a good women, start to comment. I love women, but not in, in power positions like the, the Finnish government. Or to have an opinion about something, yes. or you know, will, a will for something. Yeah. Or, you know.